So we have the new Apple Watch Series 5, and we're gonna show you how to connect it to an iPhone 11 Pro Max, especially if you already have a previous watch, we're gonna show you how to remove that watch and connect a new one, whether you have an Apple Watch Series 4 or lower. Also at the end of the video, we're gonna do some troubleshooting just in case you run into any problems connecting your Apple Watch to your brand new phone. Let the download begin. So guys, if you're new here and you want to learn how to use and troubleshoot your devices, plus some other cool tech stuff, we can help. All you need to do is hit that subscribe button and that bell for notification so you don't miss when we release some cool, helpful content. So did you just get a brand new Apple Watch and you had an old Apple Watch or is this your first Apple Watch? This video is definitely something you want to check out. We're going to be connecting the new Apple Watch Series 5 to the new iPhone 11 Pro Max and we're going to show you how to disconnect an old Apple Watch and reconnect a new Apple Watch. So handling the disconnection portion, of course, is gonna be the first thing you're gonna do. So you wanna make sure you have your old watch present and your phone, and you're gonna go into the Apple Watch companion app, go all the way into the general settings, scroll to the bottom, and you're gonna have a reset option there. So the next thing you wanna do is select the erase Apple Watch content and settings. It's gonna erase everything from your phone, but it's also gonna erase the Apple Watch and set it back to factory default settings. You're gonna be prompted to enter your Apple ID password, and you're gonna be prompted to hit confirm a couple of times. It's gonna look really scary because they want you to know that you're erasing everything. Make sure that you have a backup if you need it and then just go ahead and go through with the full uninstall. Make sure that if you're prompted to keep your cellular plan, you definitely do that because you want that cellular plan to transfer over to your new Apple Watch. We did keep the cellular plan, but we still had to call our provider for some weird reason. Even though we chose to keep it, the plan didn't fully transfer over, but they were able to kind of get it set up back once we were connected to the new phone with the new Apple Watch. So once everything is reset and the watch is unpaired and all you have to do is unpack your brand new Apple Watch, bring it close to your iPhone, and then it will be prompted to do a brand new setup. Now remember if you have your old Apple Watch there, both of them are gonna be prompting. So maybe you wanna get that one into another room somewhere while you set up your brand new Apple Watch. Once you scan that little glowy ball thingy, I'm not sure what Apple calls that, then the iPhone is gonna prompt you just to go through a regular setup process. It's gonna download some information. It's gonna ask you if you wanna restore from a previous backup. If you've backed up your watch before you did the reset, you can do that. If you want to set it up as a brand new Apple Watch, you have the option to do that as well. Set up process can take a little while because it's going to be downloading all the information. Even if you're coming from a backup, it's still downloading and updating the brand new watch. So just let it sit. My suggestion would be to keep it on the charger itself just in case you don't want it to run out of power while it's updating. And then once that update process is complete, your Apple Watch is now connected to your phone and you just run some tests to make sure everything is working the way that you want it to. So now if you run into any issues with the actual unpairing of the Apple Watch, itself. One of the first things that I realized was that sometimes it didn't unpair for me until I reset my phone for some weird reason. I was trying to unpair it a couple of times. I was getting an error message. I reset the phone itself. I booted the phone back up and then I was able to go in and the unpair was successfully able to go through this time. So try restarting your phone if you're unable to unpair your old Apple Watch and pair your new one. And also if you're having any issues pairing the new Apple Watch to your phone as well, try a reset of the phone and then go in and try to make that connection once more. If that doesn't work then you always have that manual option to pair the Apple Watch to your phone manually which will send you a code to your phone and again if you're not receiving that code when you initiate it on the Apple Watch a reboot actually does fix that problem there's a, a ton of examples of that on the internet where people are not receiving the code to their phone from the Apple Watch while setting it up manually simply just restarting the phone resending the code from the watch can help to fix that problem as well and also my suggestion is if you're having any kind of issues updating or pairing the Apple Apple Watch, just make sure it's connected to the charger sometimes. It just needs to detect that it's connected to some kind of power, I guess as a reserve option in case it believes it's about to run out of energy while it's updating and cause a fatal error. It would rather not connect or pair in that situation. So connecting it to the charger, having a power flowing through the watch can kind of just get you going and get you where you need to go. So guys, if you're having any kind of issues or questions pairing your new Apple Watch or unpairing your old Apple Watch, go ahead and share that in the comment section below this video. I'll be more than happy to answer that for you. Now we do have a bunch of watches in the studio and we're going to be doing a lot of watch videos. We have the Apple Watch Series 4, we have the Apple Watch Series 5, we also have the Fitbit Versa 2 so we're going to be doing a comparison video against all three watches. So make sure you subscribe to the channel with your notifications on so you can check out those videos when they are released. And this video is going to tell you a little bit more about watch OS 6 and this video is something that YouTube believes you'd enjoy watching. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications so you don't miss when we release some cool help content like this one. Until next time, guys. Peace.